Welcome everyone. Today we'll take a deeper dive into Power Pivot. We'll take a look at how to import files into the data model, create relationships, create calculated columns and measures using DAX formulas, and then summarize with pivot tables. Not only is DAX used in Power Pivot, it is also used in Power BI, so this tutorial will serve as a good foundation. If this sounds interesting, keep watching and don't forget to hit the like button. I want to say a big thank you to all our new and existing subscribers. And if you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button to support this channel. Thank you. Power Pivot allows you to process and analyze millions of rows of data. And you can access it right here or in the data tab under data tools. If you don't have the Power Pivot tab on your ribbon, right click anywhere on the ribbon, select customize ribbon go to add-ins click the drop down right next to manage and select come add-in go check this box to enable the power pivot tab and then click ok the practice files are saved in a folder on my pc you can download them in the description box below the first is an excel file let's take a quick look there are two worksheets here enrollment data and funding and this is a text file showing the school list now let's go over to a blank excel file to import our data in the previous video we loaded data into excel and added it to the data model today we'll load the data into power pivot directly before we go on if you are yet to see the previous video i want to encourage you to watch it because it will aid your understanding of the tutorial today now go to the Power Pivot tab, click on Manage to launch the Power Pivot window. This is blank because we are yet to import the data into the data model. You can press Alt and Tab to switch between this window and the workbook. Or you click Switch to Workbook, this Excel icon at the top left of the window. To import the tables, on the home tab go to get external data click from other sources this opens the dialog box right here scroll down and select excel file click next you can enter a name in the friendly connection name if you want i'll leave as is next you have to enter the path for the file or just click browse to search for the file the excel file is right here Click open. Check this box to use first row as column headers. This will ensure that the column headers are recognized when the data is imported. Click next. You see a list of worksheets in the Excel file. There are two worksheets in the file we imported. So check these boxes to select them. You have the option to insert or edit a friendly connection name here as well. Now click on the preview and filter button. Here you see a snapshot of the data. Let me expand this a little. Okay. You can filter out unwanted columns by unchecking the box. The data is okay as is, so I'll click finish. Import was successful. Click close. You can view the imported worksheets right here. It looks just like Excel. Let's import the remaining file, go back to get external data from other sources and scroll down, select text file, click next, browse to select the file, select school list, click open. It is a CSV file, so the column separator is comma. Don't forget to check this box to use first row as column headers. We can see a preview of the data right here. It looks good. So I'll click finish. Success. Cool. We can close this now. All our data has been successfully imported. In the next video, we'll define and create relationships. 